Hi there, my name is Kevin Taylor and this is another comic book haul. I've got 14 award winning comic books to show in this haul. I've got 4 slabs or graded comic books and I've got 10 raw comic books to show. So yeah, the first one I like to show here is a Micronauts issue number 1. And this one is an Eagle Award winner for favourite new comic title in 1979. And it was written by Bill Mantlo with art by Michael Golden and Joe Rubenstein. Um, Dave Cockrum and uh, El Milgram cover. And this book features the first appearance of Baron Kaza and Bug. And uh, this is a Rare Whitman variant, which is a 1% of the uh, print ratio. So yeah, it's a really, really rare variant for Micronauts. And this book came out in January 1979. And yeah, it's a really, really cool one. And as I said, it won an award. It won an Eagle Award for favourite new comic title in 1979. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. Okay, so I'm going to place this one over this side now. Really, really cool. And it's a cool spec book as well, because if um, Hasbro decide to do a movie of some kind in the future, it'd be a really, really cool one to pick up on the cheap. Okay, so the next one I have to show is this one. Here we have Doctor Strange, number 55, from October 1982. And this is another graded comic book. And this one won an Eagle Award for Best Cover. And it's a yeah, really, really cool one. There's Doctor Strange. And I really like this cover. And I'm happy that it's um, just a direct edition and not a newsstand. Because it's got Spider-Man in the, um, the uh, barcode box there. And uh, with the Spider-Man, a new Spider-Man film, like uh, No Way Home, um, Doctor Strange is going to be play a big role in that movie. So, yeah, I thought this was a really, really cool one to pick up. And this could be a tricky one to find in high grade also. And um, yeah, the thing I also like about this book is it's got like a miswrap at the uh, top of the book. So you can see some of the art at the bottom of the uh, front cover that you don't usually tend to see. Like this face here, you don't often see like that, that skull face down the bottom there. So I'm quite pleased um, that he's um, on the cover. So I couldn't pass this one up and I didn't pay a lot for this book. I think I only paid about £60 for this book graded. And it's a 9.6 grade. And I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Yeah, this book won an Eagle Award for favourite cover in 1983. And the cover's done by Michael Golden. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. And I'm really pleased to have this one in my collection. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. And it's another one off my checklist. So yeah, two really, really cool books there. Micronauts and Doctor Strange. Okay, well I'm going to show you my other two graded books later on in the haul. And I'm going to get on with the, show you some of my um, raw books to start with. Okay, so the first one I have to show here is Croak. And this is a trade paperback that collects the miniseries. And this book won a Ghastly Award, or this series won a Ghastly Award. And uh, the Ghastly Awards aren't around anymore, but they were around for a few years. And um, yeah, this was a cool one to pick up. Because originally, yeah, this started off as a webcomic. And it was um, originally published digitally by Alterna Comics. And it was like later financed through Kickstarter and published physically on a um, newsprint in um, 2017. And it, had, um, it was a free issue miniseries, issue 1, 2 and 3. And then in, tw in 2018, uh, the series was turned into a 98 pa page, uh, 96 page graphic novel, uh, which is this book here. And it featured updated text and letters or lettering and... Um, it has uh, brand new pages and uh, also features a zero issue in the pages of this book. So this is kind of like a miniature trade paperback because it's smaller than your usual regular size uh, comic books. See, I can make a comparison there, see? So, yeah, really, really cool. And, um, yeah, very, very nice indeed. And this is a horror story that was written by Cody Souza and it was drawn by Francesco La Quinta and it's coloured by Chris O'Halloran, who's uh, famous for a lot of ice cream man. And it was also um, lettered by um, Desi CNT. So, yeah, really, really cool. And this one won a Ghastly Award for Best Limited Series in 2016. So, yeah, really, really pleased to have this in my collection. And this is a really high-grade copy, so I'm really hoping to send this off someday and get in this one graded, and then I'm going to pick up the Limited Series for readers' copies. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, very, very nice. Ghastly Awards is like um, horror awards for the, for the lot of the year. So, but I'd say I think they've stopped um, doing the Ghastly Awards um, a couple of years ago. 
Okay, so the next one I have to show is this one. Here we have a really cool one. Here we have um, a four issue uh, mini series, and I just recently just showed this briefly. Uh, this is um, Apache Skies issue number one of four, and this is a four issue mini series released by Marvel uh, Max Comics, which is an adult imprint of Marvel that came out way back in uh, twenty uh, um, in two thousand and two. And uh, yeah, this one basically won a Squiddy Award for Best Limited Series. And um, yeah, it's a really cool one, this one. And it's a good one to keep a look out for if you're a fan of Westerns. And there's also a trade paperback for this book also. But the trade paperback can be quite pricey, um, especially not high grade. So yeah, but still a cool series to keep a look out for. And it's a series you can find for really cheap. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. And that's Apache uh, Skies. So, and it contains um, explicit content as well. So it's not for kids, so the yeah, Max comic book series. So yeah, really, really cool. Okay, right, the next one I have to show is this one. Here we have um, Fantastic Four. And this is a uh, volume three, number 60. And originally this book came out and it was only nine cents. And I believe they put it out at that price to entice people to pick up uh, the Fantastic Four. And uh, yeah, and I thought I'd pick this one up because basically this one um, won a Squiddy Award uh, for best short story in 2002 for a story called Inside Out that was written by Mark Wade with art by Mark Rear Ringo, um, who has his own um, Ringo Award. And it was also uh, features artwork by Cole Kessel as well. So really, really nice. And it's a, it's a like it's about um, six, the um, Fantastic Four are just recently celebrating the 60th anniversary. So yeah, and this month in November 2021. So yeah, I thought this was a really good book to pick up. And it's another book you can find for really, really cheap. And it's got a really awesome story and um, it's another award winner. Yeah, Squiddy Award winner for best short story in 2002 for a story called Inside Out. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. Okay, right, the next one I have to show is a bit of an obscure one. And this is like an indie comic. Well, it's like self-published, I believe. And uh, yeah, this one is called uh, Wicked Chicken Queen by Sam Alden. And when I received this through the post, it wasn't actually bagged and boarded. So I actually had to bag and board it myself. And it came through in like a really flimsy plastic bag and that was it. And I was quite surprised that it arrived with me in such good condition, really. And um, But yeah, anyway, this book um, was published by Retrofit Comics and uh, Big Planet Comics. And this book received an Ignatz Award in 2014 for Outstanding Comic. And as I said, it was written and illustrated by Sam Alden. Um, all the artwork is in black and white. But this is another book that you can find for really, really cheap. And it's got really like abstract work, um, artwork inside. And it's a bit out there, the artwork in, in this um, comic book. But yeah, really, really cool. And I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. And I really love collecting like, the really obscure award-winning comic books as well as like, the mainstream like superhero stuff. So yeah, this is a really, really cool one to add to my PC. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. And it's another one I'd like to get graded someday. So yeah, lovely, lovely. So very, very nice indeed. Okay, right, the next one I have to show is this one. Here we have um, Sock Monkey. The Inches Incident, and this is another like um, trade paperback in a smaller size, much like um, much like the one I just showed the um, oh, um, oh, what is it called? Oh, I've forgotten the memories. This, yeah, Croak. Sorry, yeah, I just showed Croak. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, this is much like the Croak trade paperback in size, and uh, this one features a, a four issue mini series as well. It's a Sock Monkey, The In Inches Incident. And it's written and drawn by Tony Millionaire. He's a multi-port award winner. And um, yeah, it's, uh, this is book, um, Trade Paper Act, is published by Dark Horse Comics. And um, basically, yeah, Tony Millionaire won an Eisner Award in 2000 for talent deserving of wider recognition. Um, plus he won many other awards as well for like Best Humour Publication. And yeah, I started to... Start, uh, start um, collecting um, um, Sock Monkey comic books and the, the first um, four volumes only consist of two issues each. So you had volume one, issue number one and two, volume two, one, two, 
volume three, one and two, and volume four, one and two. And then they done this, um, Tony Millionaire done this um, mini series here. And it's a really, really cool one. And I'd like to get this one graded as well someday. As I said, I'm hoping to get uh, all the um, Sock Monkey books graded. And there are very few on the CGC census at the moment. I've actually got issue number one graded. And I've actually got, I believe, volume two number one graded so far. And they're both high grade copies. So, yeah. And um, to the left of me here is actually my um, latest, one of my latest pickups as well, which is my Sock Monkey statue. Right here, he's sitting in his chair. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. And that's Uncle Gabby the Sock Monkey with his plush friend, Mr. Crow. And, uh, yeah, he's actually reading uh, the first issue of uh, Sock Monkey sitting in his chair there. So they are so, yeah, really, really nice indeed. So I'm really pleased to have that in my collection and that, that as the display piece. So, yeah, and as I said, this is another book I'd like to get graded someday. And I say I'd love to have the full series um, graded. So, yeah, for... Um, yeah, very, very nice. So, um, for preservation, um, like, um, yeah, no worries. Because I find a lot of these, um, these, um, award winning books have got a very, very low census. And I'm trying to save them because I think if if no one else does it, and I'm the only person who does it, then some of these stories could get lost with, in time. So, I'm trying to sort of save a lot of these books for the future, which is why I like to pick up graded copies. And also I'd like to have readers' copies as well. So, yeah, so very, very nice indeed. Okay, right, on to the next book. Here we have um, Harrow County. And this one uh, won a Bram Stoker Award for Best Graphic Novel in 2015. Uh, this series was also Eisner Award nominated for Best New Series in 2015. And it also won three Garsley Awards in 2016, including Best Ongoing Title, for Cullen Bunn and Tyler Crook, and um, Best Writer for, for Cullen Bunn, and Best Artist Tyler Crook. So yeah, it won quite a few awards this book, and this is a uh, this issue here collects the first four issues, which is a uh, the storyline that's called um, Countless Haints, and this book is released by Dark Horse Comics, and yeah, very very nice book indeed, and this one's for all you horror fans out there, so yeah, very very nice book to keep an eye out for. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this series. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. So here we have Harrow County. Really, really cool. Okay. Right, the next one I have to show is this one. And here we have another award-winning series. And this is a series I hardly know that no one talks about, really. And this is a really, really cool find. And this series here won two Eisner Awards for Best New Series in 2020 and Best Painter Digital Artist 2020 for Christian Ward, who also works on Dark Horse Comics' um, Machine Gun Wizards comic book series, which is a four-issue miniseries. And uh, basically, yeah, this book was written by G. Willow Wilson, who, like, a, a, a created and wrote, like, Miss Marvel. So, And I've got the Miss Marvel uh, Kota Bakia statue there. That's Kirstein's um, statue, my partner's statue, for in her um, Marvel um, statue collection. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. And, uh, yeah, this was released by Dark Horse Comics and Burger Books. And, uh, yeah, so, but there are a couple of trade paperbacks for this series. And it's a highly recommended um, science fiction series, this one. And as I said, I, hardly, I haven't heard really anyone talking about this series. And this book won two Eisner Awards for Best New Series in 2020 and Best Painter Digital Artist for um, um, Christian Wall. So... Yeah, very, very nice indeed. And I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. So, yeah, so that's that one. Invisible Kingdom number one. Okay, right, the next one I have to show is a really cool science fiction TV show that I used to watch when I was a kid. And it's a fantastic um, old science fiction show that came out after Star Wars. I believe it came out about two years after Star Wars. And I believe like uh, Paramount wanted to cash in on the um, Star Wars craze. Uh, but they've done a fantastic job with the um, series and the effects are really cool and the Cylons are really, really cool, like bad, bad guys. So, yeah, fantastic science fiction TV show. Yeah, and uh, this one, uh, originally uh, Marvel released the uh, Battlestar Galactica series and I've actually got issue number one graded in a 9.8 of the original series and a newsstand copy. And uh, this, this one was published uh, later on in November 2018, not many years later. Because uh, by Dynamite Entertainment, who got now got the rights to Battlestar Galactica, 
And uh, this book here features the first part, or part one, of um, Counter-Strike, which was a Dragon Award winner in 2020 for Best Graphic Novel. And it's by um, John Jackson Miller and Daniel HDR. This series was released in time for Battlestar Galactica's 40th anniversary. And there are a number of really cool variants for this um, series to keep an eye out for. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. So I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. And this is a classic Battlestar Galactica issue number one. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Yeah, so uh, Battlestar Galactica actually first appeared in a Marvel Super Size Special. And it was like an oversized um, comic book. And it was issue, I believe it was issue number eight. So... But yeah, so very, very, very cool books to keep an eye out for. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. And I'm a big fan of the old Battlestar Galactica. So yeah, really, really pleased to have this in my collection. So very, very nice indeed. Okay. So the next one I have to show is a Marvel comic book. And um, here we have um, Howard the Duck, issue number three. And this is a really, really cool one, this one. This one won an Eagle Award in 1977 for favourite single or continued story for a story called Four Feathers of Death, which was written by um, Steve Gerber with um, John Pazima and Steve Lealoa Art. And it also features a Rick Buckler and a Steve Lealoa cover. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Um, this book is a Bronze Age book and it came out in uh, May 1976, but it won an Eagle Award in 1977 for favourite single or continued story. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. And I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. So, I'm looking forward to reading this one. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Really, really cool. So, yeah, very nice. And it's another book you can find for really cheap. So, yeah, very, very nice Bronze Age comic book by Marvel Comics. Okay, right, the next one I have to show... Uh, the Ringo Awards w took place like last month, and um, I picked up um, s some of the winners, like, and um, I picked this is one of the winners. Um, this one won a Ringo Award for Best Humor Comic in um, 2021, and the Ringo Awards were um, made basically in honor for, of uh, Mike Rear Ringo, who's a fantastic artist and a fantastic comic book writer, and uh, yeah. So he's not around anymore. I mean, but uh, um, yeah. So he, a lot of his um, like family sort of do the awards for him, and um, a lot of his fans and a lot of people who work with him, and it's so uh, really cool. And you can actually watch the awards like every year they have it at like um, a Comic Con, I believe they have it like a Baltimore Comic Con. So yeah, very very cool indeed. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, Metal Shark Bro Two, and this is the second series. And it features a story called Assault on Hamzig Island. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. And I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, Ringo Award winner 2021 for Best Humour Comic. So, yeah, very, very nice. Okay. Right, the next one I have to show. And it's going to be like some of me. The last two are going to be graded comic books. And, uh, yeah, they're two really, really cool ones. So, the first one I'm going to show is this one. And here we have uh, Miss Marvel, number one. And uh, this is the third printing. And this book actually fetches quite a lot of money, this one. And it's pretty tough to find in high grade. Uh, there are very few on the CGC census of this book. And there's only 13 9.8s out of a total of 23 graded copies overall for this third print. And I believe this third print can actually fetch more than the first print. So it's a really, really cool book to um, that, that I found here and I managed to pick up. And um, yeah, Miss Marvel's got a Disney Plus TV show in the works. And it's supposed to be coming out sometime next year. And uh, this book here features um, when um, Kamala Khan becomes the new Miss Marvel. And it has a story called um, No Normal. And this is part one of the, um, I believe, six issue miniseries. Um, the story won a Hugo Award in 2015 for Best Graphic Story and it was written by G. Willow Wilson and features Joe Schuster, um, um, it features Adrian Alfono art and um, Adrian Alfono actually won an Outstanding Artist Award 
uh, Joe Schuster Award in 2015 for this series also. And um, yeah, this is a very low print run on this book. And this series has seven print-ins um, overall, but uh, I'll say there's actually eight print-ins. If you count like, the Halloween Comic Fest uh, reprint, I'd count that as an eight, eighth print-in, which you can find for really cheap at the moment. And uh, Marvel's got big plans for um, Kamala Khan in the future. And I believe the TV show, I reckon, is going to turn out to be really good. But I reckon Marvel are in the process of making like an all-new Avengers um, movies because they've got Sam Wilson, Captain America in place. Uh, Sony have been talking about doing. Sony have been talking about doing a Miles Morales film, and also um, you always say you've got Jane Foster Four as well in Love and Thunder. So like all these characters kind of coming together, I believe there's either going to be like an um, all new Avengers movies, or there's going to be like Champions movies. So either way, this is um, Kamala Khan's first issue of her ongoing series, and uh, yeah, this is a really really cool pickup. You can find it quite cheap. I recommend uh, picking up on um, picking up Miss Marvel comic books uh, before the TV show comes out because I believe this character has got a um, really really bright future. So yeah, very very cool indeed, and I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. And uh, yeah, um, raw copies of this issue can actually fetch uh, I believe it's about one hundred and twenty dollars, like and upwards. So yeah, very very nice book, and I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. So yeah, really really cool. So, I'm going to put this over here with the Miss Marvel statue. Okay, and the last book I have to show is another um, graded comic book that I just picked up. And here we have um, Martial Law, issue number one. And this is a really, really cool one, this one. And, um, yeah, this one um, won an Eagle Award for favourite new comic title in 1988. And uh, the character Joe Gilmore is a former super soldier who is turned like a um, government superhero hunter. And he tracks down other heroes who have gone rogue. And he works in a futuristic city of um, San Futuro. Um, that was built on the ruins of San Francisco after a massive earthquake. And it's a satirical series that deconstructs the superhero genre of the Golden and Silver Age. And it's written by Pat Mills with cover and art by Kevin O'Neill. And this is a six-issue mini-series. Um, but this issue, um, number one, uh, was released by um, Marvel Epic Comics in October 1987. And, um, yeah, this is a really, really cool book because this one features um, the first appearance of Martial Law as well, so it's a character. So, And I believe this character was like influenced by um, Judge Dredd. So, yeah, very, very cool indeed. And, uh, yeah, it's a highly acclaimed series, this one. And uh, you can find these issues for really cheap, uh, martial law, but finding them in high grade can be pretty tricky. So I'm really pleased to have this in my collection. And there aren't many of this one graded either. So, yeah, very, very nice book for my collection. And, yeah, this one features the first appearance of martial law. So it's a really, really nice award-winning key book. And, yeah, that one, um, Eagle Award for favourite new comic title in 1988. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And that's my uh, latest comic book haul. Uh, so, until, like, next month, I'll have a few more books to show. Um, take care, everyone. Be safe out there. And uh, look after each other. And take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.